Mikey. Here we go. Good afternoon, Coach. Good to see you. Good afternoon. Welcome to HSBM Media Days. Coach, introduce yourself and the players you have here today. Um, head of Coach Steven Suarez, my second year in Archbishop Coleman Carroll. Um, to my right here is Noah Lopez, committed to Dominican University up in New York. Then we have Jeremy Jaramillo, Sam Oliva, and Guilla Villares. These are my four seniors, and I would say probably my four captains on the team. Excellent. Well, welcome, everyone. So, Coach, last year was a tough season, but now you're bringing back a lot of experienced players. How far is the development, and how is this team ready to turn the corner and compete this year for a district title? They're ready to turn the corner. Um, I think we had some growing pains last year. I guess our record of the three wins um, really didn't show how good they played, though. We were, we were in almost all the ball games, at least five, six innings. And we just have the depth chart to, to, to finish those games. Um, this year will be much better. Um, they're definitely going to compete and look into it. Definitely do better than last year, and we'll be all right. We'll, we'll work hard, and they've been working hard since we haven't stopped all, all year long. Excellent. And the, the roster seems to have a lot of talented infielders. Is that where you are strongest right now? Are you guys competing for the starting roles, or would there be chances for everyone to get some playing time? Everyone's going to get playing time. Um, we, we, we have a, we're, we're, our depth chart is pretty good. Um, I'd say we're strong all across the board, per se. Um, I wouldn't say it was just infielders. I think our, our outfield uh, and infield, everyone's pretty good. Um, we do have, for the first time in my career, I actually have some POs, which I've never really had. I've always dealt with a lot of two-way players. Um, and for the first time, I actually have uh, like five or six pitcher only. So that's um, that's a fresh breath of air, not having to, to always maneuver around you know take a right fielder out from the pitch a center fielder that that's always kind of a hassle when you have to game plan a little differently that way yeah and you have uh, um players that have multiple positions that play multiple positions is how is that invaluable and is there a lot of guys that would be using that role yes and they're more they're more of relievers so it's not going to be it's, it's it's not going to be as i don't have to be strategized as much right. you know they're more closers um they'll come in and save an inning or two but it's, it's it'll be later in the game um so it's it's not gonna it's not gonna affect me like it, it has before right yeah and to the players and coaches you know we all know how important uh providing uh, chemistry is to the team in setting up a winning season uh, Coach, can you say anything about the chemistry of the team, the makeup of the team, seniors, juniors, seniors, how well they gel on and off the field in the clubhouse, and how the attitude is, you know, how coachable are they to? They're all definitely coachable. I think they're getting along real well. Um, we have a mixture. I think we have a lot of young guys, I want to say. We're kind of young. So, you know, that immaturity and then, you know, the, the, the more mature ones are the older ones. But they're doing, the, the older guys are doing a good job with them. Um, I think they're leading them the right direction, the right way. Um, they're doing, they do a good job doing that. And we're, we're going to be, we're going to be kind of young. Um, but we've been together a lot. And I know I've heard in through little around the field that they're going out together, which last year that didn't happen. Um, they're, so they're gelling. From the player perspective, talk to me about the chemistry of the team, how you guys are motivating each other. How's that? Um, I think that the, to the older guys like us, we, we really try and put uh, the little ones under our wing and we try and do our best to help them out with leaving little things. We go out, uh, it kind of just brings the chemistry even better and grow a lot deeper because off the field, everybody's like a little different. So you really understand everyone and it kind of just gels together when you're on the field. I mean, every weekend we all go out together. All the, all the older people that drive, we always pick up the younger kids that can drive so we're always around together and we're just all always having a good time and that obviously leads to the baseball field we know each other more we know how to work with each other and just brings better to the team and to a couple of the other players you know as coach suarez said it's a tough game it's a long grind you know the commitment that you're making here for four years is a major commitment hopefully going to college playing college and professional baseball can some of you guys comment on how you feel as being a role model, combining discipline and combining your studies on and off the field with being a, a Bulldog baseball player. What's, what kind of pride do you have as a role model and how do you combine your whole life on and off the field with, as a Bulldog baseball player? Studies, discipline, school, things like that. Um, yeah, the, the baseball aspect, I kind of got in the grasp of it since I'm a lot older, so I've been around the system. So I've been able to manage my time a lot, 
a lot better than I used to when I was younger. And I think that coach does a great job of getting us off the field and at a reasonable time so we can do our homework study and have great grades in the classroom and succeed in their studies and academics. Coach, you have some of your assistant coaches here. Talk to us about the importance of having a, a good staff. I mean, you're just as good as your staff. You know, they do a great job for me. Um, they're with me a lot. Um, they have full-time jobs, and it, it's it's I I mean, I thank them a lot on our group messages all the time. Um, it, it's they're valuable. You know, there's I got 28 guys. You know, you need them. You know, they're real real valuable, and I appreciate everything they do. Um, I was assistant coach. I've been assistant coach before, and I understand what it means to be appreciated, unappreciated. I've been there, done that, been used, been abused. So I know once I became a head coach, how much it means to let my assistants know how much you appreciate them. And I, I think I thanked, I thanked them today, I think, you know. Um, I think this morning on our group chat, I think, I believe I thanked them, did I? I did, and I make sure to thank them because I know how it is to be unappreciated and not be thanked because you don't get paid you don't get paid much in my position and their position. They're doing this because they love the game and they like being out there and teaching it and being mentors um, to these to these guys and these kids. So I highly appreciate my assistants and I truly let them know all the time. So, so coach, let's talk about let's talk about the schedule. Who you guys are facing? You're taking a road trip up north to play St. St. Joseph's and Interlaken during spring break. How important is this? team bonding and getting some playing time on these, on these tournaments? Definitely. I mean, nothing like having a road trip. You know, I explain to them. I try to give them everything they can possible. You know, we just built a locker room. I gave them that. I try to do everything because a lot of these guys aren't going to play college baseball. It's just statistics. You know, so I try to give them, and professional, everything they can in their high school career because they might, a lot of them, maybe 85%, 90%, are never going to have that experience ever again. Um, road trips, you can't beat that. They're going to talk about that forever. In the vans, on the road trip, the hotel, you know, making fun. St on the st they're not going to get that. I tell my wife, I tell my coaches, I want to give them an experience that they might never have again. You're going to win and you're going to lose. That's going to happen. But you can't take this away. Those experiences will never be taken away. They're going to remember those. Um, I can't even tell you. I, I, I don't. I, I don't. I, I really don't even care. I don't. I, I, I scheduled, and it, it, who I schedule is who I scheduled. Okay. We worry about ourselves. And you said you just built a locker room? Correct. Awesome. And one of the players, you want to talk about how cool the locker room is now? The locker room is really nice. I like how, I like how um, our coach made it. He, uh, we have our names on it on each locker. It's, um, it's really cool. Yeah. What about you? I just like the experience. I've never had a locker room before. Mm -hmm. I've always seen, like, when I was a freshman, uh, the older kids always, in my previous school, always in the locker room, and I was never in it. So now that I'm in it, it's just a different experience. It's fun. It's nice to see your name up there, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so that's nice touch, Coach. <laughs> so tell us, what is, um, give us a preview of the Bulldogs for this year. What can we expect from this ball club? We're going to be a lot better than last year. <laughs> awesome. And coach, why was it important for you guys to um, to come out here to media days? It's again, the experience. Um Anthony does a great job. You guys do a great job. I appreciate you guys doing this. Um they like this. Parents like it. Kids love it. Sucks that it's raining today. Kids were dying to do IO. Um I think they they've perfected it the past couple of weeks to come out here. I've been harping on it. Um to come out here and put on a good show, you know, and it sucks that it's raining, but um, we appreciate everything you guys do. Um, you guys do a good job. Um, the kids love it. Parents love it. Um, you guys are getting better and better every year. And again, thank you, Anthony. You guys did a great job. And, yeah, and we just hope you guys go to your profile player pages and you get your stats up there. So that's, that's something that you guys are going to like. So, well, the best of luck to the Bulldogs this year. And um, we'll see you on the field soon. Thanks for coming out. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.